Welcome back to the channel guys. Welcome back to the farm. Uh, I'm going to admit starting out uh, with this weird intro. Which usually I don't I don't do it in this fashion. Uh, I've had two fatal computer crashes today. Not fatal to the computer, but to the recording. Um, I had some uh, serious problems with the recording today. And I think it was honestly the two harvesters and I'll talk about it later. I think it's a game issue, but that's okay. But welcome back to the channel, guys. Happy Friday. Hope everybody's having, had a good week. Anyway, we're on our way back up to the field. Uh, we're on the last field of vegetables. I didn't want to drag you guys through that, nor did I really have the opportunity due to the crash. It corrupted uh, the entire video I had set but uh, the power of editing, you guys will still get a video. Um, I rented a second harvester, which you guys probably saw in, in the little intro clip, and a little Zeter tractor, and I think that was where our problem came from, because it's only happened since I had both the harvesters. And I got rid of the other one, it hasn't happened again since. It's happened twice, where the computer just literally like black screened and put me back so I have been working on this video basically all day due to all the issues I've had which I don't mind but yeah don't have one of these trailed harvesters and then rent another one because that's when I've seen the issue happen unless I have another issue that I don't know about that's the only thing I can see because I played games till like one o'clock in the morning last night and had zero problems so, if you are playing this map with these harvesters, I would suggest only having one or not leasing another one. I'm not sure. I was really trying to just save time with it. But uh, it didn't really save me time. It just gave me more of a headache. Anyway, so this is the last of our parsnips we have to gather. We're up in the realm over 100,000 uh, 100, liters uh, of each crop. I hate that it saves every time I do that. Because I just wanted to show you guys this screen. So, yeah. 100,000 of each. Which we can actually turn those on now. This is out of oats. We can shut that off. Just double check them while I'm in here. There's plenty of flour at the bakery, which is great. And uh, so when it comes to the future plans, so as you guys can tell, I've converted these three fields to grass. Uh, all three of these veggie fields are going to be converted to grass as well. That's the next thing on my to-do list. I've already limed these pH balance fix and uh, nitrogen fix all these grass fields. Uh, I plan on doing silage over winter, silage bales for money. Um, I'm hoping we can sell these preserves for enough to get a potato factory because those potatoes, I don't, I really don't know what happened to this field when I was planting it. It just looks so odd, like it's so. Maybe they gave me a broken planter or something because something was was up with it when uh, I was planting this field because there is uh, patches everywhere that are missing, like in here. That might just be a misalignment thing, but uh, yeah, this this field of potatoes is gonna be ready really really soon, and it's 120,000 for the potato factory. So I'm hoping these preserves are really gonna help us out. We made really good money off them last time, so I'm hoping we can make really good money off them again. It is amazing to watch how these work, though. I wish you could actually stand on that footplate and watch it, because that is what that's for, for checking stuff, but I would assume you probably shouldn't step on it when somebody's moving, though. But uh, it's amazing to watch that, that harvester work the way it does. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna go grow. We're gonna grow grass all winter until it's time to plant in our uh, spring crops again. Well, I say we're gonna grow grass all winter, but we're gonna grow grass probably. We're probably only gonna get one cut off of all these fields. But one, <clears throat> excuse me, one batch of silage bales is better than no money at all. 
obviously I'm going to have to lease all the equipment to do it, but I'm going to lease cheaply. I won't use that bale trailer again, though. I'll just rent one of the uh, auto, uh, auto stackers. We do need to look at these two tractors, though. They are battered. The Fiat is absolutely battered. This thing has no life left in it. <laughs> like, it's been struggling to tow the trailer. And I think the... Yeah, this guy's low as well, sadly. So we're going to have to go get that done as soon as we're done with all this harvesting, too. And then we're going to have to get back out in these fields and plant all the rest of this grass. But other than my recording issues today, uh, it hasn't been a bad day. Um, definitely not. It's, it hasn't been a bad day. I love recording video guys, a video content for you guys. Um, even when I have issues, obviously these things happen. It's not worth getting mad about or been out of shape. Which of course I was upset at the time because I had this field almost done and the red beet field was partially done. And it sent me all the way back to like that red beet field being half done and this one not being touched at all. So it's been a long day of reporting. I'll admit that. But uh, not a bad day. Uh, we're definitely going to try to rent some cheaper balers. I'd like to run a baler that actually has the uh, auto release or auto dump. Because I was showing you guys the, uh, the mod for the the, the round baler mod which will be super cool to show you with one that actually has the full dump option and everything welcome back guys it just did it to me again I don't know what's going on with it it didn't it didn't completely shut it down again it just caused the game to close. And then Streamlabs wanted to act all fidgety. It wouldn't let me stop the recording. Uh, I feel like I was further than this. I don't think it put me back too far. But uh, I, do, I do not know what's going on with it today. Well, maybe it pushed me back a little bit. No big deal. Um, but yeah, I do not know what's up with it. Uh, no idea what's happening here. So apparently it wasn't the harvesters working together. Although it was a different fault. I don't know what happened. It didn't, it didn't black screen both my monitors and restart my computer. It just closed the game out. I'm not too sure what's happening. It's starting to make me nervous. I won't lie. <laughs> but, um, as I was saying, uh, yeah, we're going to grass all that. And, uh, God, he almost gave me a heart attack. So, yeah, we'll be able to, um, have grass until, what is it, June? June and, well, April for the vegetables. So three of the fields we'll have to tear up in April. So maybe we can get one cut, I think, on at least three of the fields and probably maybe two cuts on three other fields. Yeah, the two tractors are absolutely battered. And uh, I don't want to leave you guys with a super short video, but if I keep having problems, I will end up making it super short if this is going to be a continual issue until maybe the game gets updated or I figure out what's wrong with my computer or um, here or there, whatever the issue is, once I figure out what it is. I would just like to finish this harvest since it's been like an all-day thing. 
And I started this. I've had the game at one time the whole time, and I started at 8 o'clock. And it's been, it's 2 in the afternoon, so it's been 6 hours. Where are you going? What are you doing? What have you done? He's mildly confused. There, you got it? Thank you. But yeah, we need to make uh, enough money to buy the potato processing plant because I do not want to hold on to those potatoes until we can buy it because I have nowhere to put them. I do not have anywhere to put them. So, and the silage bale is not going to make that money. I'm hoping these preserves are because the silage bale is not going to be ready in time before those are ready. Which is actually reminds me, when is the potato yeah, supposed to be ready? Oh, so we're already in the month where they could be ready, but they're not ready today, so they could be ready September, which is okay. I don't remember if I have two days or three days. No, I have two days. So, uh, tomorrow they probably won't be ready, but the day after they will be. So if we get enough preserves within what, a day, maybe. If we can sell some while we're harvesting, maybe. It might be close. We might have to just run a big truck to hold them in for the time being, which I don't think we're gonna, there's no truck that's going to be able to hold all that. And the yard's not really big enough to just dump a load of potatoes in the middle of it, so I don't plan on doing that either because that's that'll be a lot of potatoes. The whole yard will be filled with potatoes. So we're kind of on a time crunch here financially. I don't want to pull out more money out of the loan because we're already pretty in debt. I think it's like two hundred five thousand when we bought the bakery and the. Uh, preserving factory, which in all honesty, when I sold all the preserves, I should have paid out the loan. I'll admit that was wrong of me to buy more fields and do as I please, but it's a game. I mean, I don't make good financial decisions in real life anyway, so it's okay. That's just what I would have done. <laughs> Is this actually recording audio as well of the game? Because it doesn't like to lately. Okay, good. Sorry. I'm having a, a recording day meltdown. It's nothing, nothing wants to work properly today. Yeah, it is interesting to watch these work, though. And the helpers really struggle with the new equipment too. They don't. Uh, this field was done pretty well. And the red beet field was done pretty well. The carrot field, meh. It's not a square field, and they really, really struggle with that. They struggled really hard with that field. I'm not sure why. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the conflict is with the, the game and this computer today. I don't know what's going on with it. I'm hoping we can fit all of that in here. Should my luck, it'll be just over. We'll take one more load and then we'll just plow the rest in. Unless we think we can fit it all, but I doubt it. Now, when we uh, subsoil this, there shouldn't be any rocks. I've noticed all the fields I've previously 
subsoil don't have rocks in them anymore. I shouldn't say subsoil, I should say uh, took the rocks out of rock picked out. There hasn't been more rocks. So, we should be okay rock wise, which is makes me feel kind of silly for having that rock collector if we're not going to need it again. But uh, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah, these vegetables make a lot of money, but they are a slow, slow, grindy process. Especially a day where, like today, you have uh, issues with the computer and my recording software and everything else I've had a problem with. How many more are you going to fit in there, buddy? Not many. Yeah, we're only going to have one pass left when he's done, so... Oh, he's full. Let's just take this and we'll plow the rest of them in. We will go maintenance this tractor and the harvester. And then we'll bring over our uh, Fiat on the way back. I've had enough of the vegetables today. I know it's a waste, but, you know, those veggies, that, that whole row could probably be like another trailer load, but, yes, I understand I can't do the auger, but well, that's, and that. This tractor, I would love to replace this tractor. I just, I'm not in the money spending mood on this save. I'm trying to save money, so. My daughter's being troublesome, apparently. Yeah, it's, I hate, I just, I hate the top speed of it. I wish it was faster, but, like I said, I don't want to, I don't want to spend the money on another tractor. Although, that little Zeter we leased, that was, that was a nice little tractor. I like that one. I did like it. We also need a pressure washer so we can clean our equipment. Zeter's minced. That's pretty minced. And this is all costing money. But they're gonna have to. We gotta get maintenance them because we need them. And we need them to keep working. Sorry, car. Just scooting across real quick. Refuel this guy real quick so that way we can get him working in the field. I don't remember where I was parking this. But we'll leave it there for now. We can get this guy going, but that's the plan. I'm gonna do silage bales uh, over the winter, and then uh, springtime we will tear out, uh, replant all of our crops and stuff, and we'll probably have to redo potatoes. Maybe we'll just pick one vegetable. We'll pick. Yeah, we'll probably do one field of vegetable, one field of potato. Probably the most valuable vegetable, I should say. Which I'd have to do my research on that. Double check whichever has the most, you know, top price as a perishable. Or not perishable, non-perishable. And a preserve form. Whichever one's worth the most, we'll probably do that. And then maybe the rest will do crops. Uh, they give us uh, wheat, or uh, not wheat. Good God, I'm struggling right now. That will give us straw because we made uh, decent money uh, with the straw as well, which was surprising. And if we're already going to have the baler, why not? We should probably buy a baler versus lease. But if we can get it cheap enough on the lease side of it, maybe we'll make it work. 
maybe we will make it work. But we can go get the rest of this dumped off, get this tracker into the shop, get it fixed. She needs it. This thing's rightfully beat down. I mean, you can tell it's struggling to pull this trailer. We're still making bread, which is good. We'll be able to sell that. Hopefully that can help us out a little bit. Hopefully. I did find an apple today. I was sitting on that table in that yard. So if anybody's looking for an apple, it's right there. While I was carting, I happened to notice it out of the corner of my eye. I think it said we had 21 left to find. 21, I believe, is what the number was. Should bring us well into. I mean, we already had a hundred thousand in there, I believe, for the parsnip. That's gonna rain soon too. Yeah, we can turn those all on. Does that also happen when it shut down on us? Yeah, 130, 108, and 111 on everything, which is impressive. So that should be a good amount of stuff to sell. Let's get this guy over to the dealership, get it fixed up. Yeah, I apologize for how short the video is today. Um, I didn't expect to have all the tech issues that I had. So, sadly, I do I do apologize on how on how short the video is today, and not really all you guys really got was a little intro and then me talking about issues. So, uh, hopefully, it won't be like that next time. But. It is Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Have a great day. Stay positive. And I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.